Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite can run PC games. Intel is preparing their ARC A750e and A580e embedded graphics. Alleged Intel Battlemage GPUs have been spotted in SI software. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4060 is now available at a very cheap price. And lastly, AMD M4 is not done yet. Okay, so firstly, we have Devin Luther at LexCYN has posted this in Twitter or X here. And you can see here, he says, here's a demo of Baldur's Gate 3 running at 1080p hovering around 30 fps which is perfectly playable and what we're talking about here or what he is talking about here is the snapdragon elite x or snapdragon x elite can run windows games using the x64 emulation so basically this is a qualcomm's new processor we're looking at here which is the qualcomm snapdragon elite x or x elite however you want to put it but yeah it's running as you can see right over here at boulder Kid at 1080p it's running at 30 fps and well interesting 30 fps though they do say hovering around so i'm guessing it's not exactly uh, around 30 fps because you know we can't really see how much fps here so kind of it's blurry but anyway it, it says 30 fps hovering around so i'm guessing it's on average it will be it will be 30 fps or maybe it's the max that is reaching 30 fps whatever but the thing is this processor can run Baldur's gate 3 pretty well so that's quite interesting to see that and also using the x64 emulation so yeah the emulation is obviously existed for a long time now and now uh this processor can run games at least these particular games because you know Baldur's Gate 3 I don't think it's a bad demanding of a game more of a CPU based game than GPU so I guess we'll see how this processor goes because it's kind of interesting that this is running so I'm guessing for Android games it will be much faster obviously no doubt so yeah that's some pretty good innovation next up from Pharonix we have some interesting news here Intel has added Linux drivers PCI IDs for Arc graphics A750e and A580e basically the e stands for embedded basically this is gonna be embedded on a motherboard i guess something like the ps5 you know the ps5 is basically has that embedded graphics similar to that and i guess this will be used in the oem pc that would be my guess or maybe like a mini pcs that would be also my guess but yeah right over we can see here's that device whatever that is that that's the driver and then intel arc a750e and then a580e so embedded versions of arc a750 and a580 is here but no refresh of the arc alchemist so i'm guessing we won't be seeing all arc alchemist refresh because the next news literally tells you why and here we have it in si software there has been two gpus that has been spotted and well let's see that we don't really know the name yet because it just says right here result id is intel r graphics dgfx driver c a master blah 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 yeah whatever that's a lot of long form stuff but we do have some specs here which is 1.8 gigahertz i'm guessing that's the base clock and l2 we were looking at 8 megabytes and 11.6 i'm guessing that's 12 gigabytes of vram so yeah and it's also supporting OpenCL because you know this was tested in an open sale platform so yeah basically you can see right over here is that uh the speed is 1.8 gigahertz which has been noted already but the boost we're looking at is 3.35 gigahertz you could say and yeah the capacity meaning it will be 160 cus resulting in it's a 20 xe battle mage that is a probable guess here because you know there is no other reason why this particular gpu would exist unless it's an intel battle mace we also have another process or, or gpu here which is again it's at 1.8 gigahertz again the same base and also the same l2 cache with the same capacity of 11.6 meaning 12 gigs because you know 11.6 doesn't really exist like that 12 gigs is probably is the total vram and as you can see right over here the speed is 1.8 and the performance versus speed are basically speed efficiency or boost clock whatever you call it is 4 gigahertz around 4 gigahertz right over here and this one is 192 cu meaning it's a, it's 24 xe battle mage force here so that's quite interesting here it is probably is the battle mage because we have some confirmation on this particular topic but kepler has tweeted this and you, as you can see it says it's been almost two years since intel pretended to launch alchemist and we still have no news on battle mage well however this is the reply from someone that i don't even know if this is a accurate or not not sure take it as a grain of salt but at michael says some smaller versions are on si software which is this is basically what i just shown you i guess they're coming and yeah i mean those don't really tell you if those are uh battle maze or alchemist probably not alchemist because like the specs doesn't really match in terms of the base clock so yeah it, we have to see that and also the, the vram is also 12 gigs so that's quite interesting there you also add single flow gpu compute looks quite good for just 160 slash 192 
xc cores right or not xc cores uh cus doesn't tell much about the release though i guess anything between q4 2024 and q2 2025 is a possibility again this is a no name source i can't really tell but it, this is a only reply i could find so that is quite interesting that we might be seeing battle maze in between q4 of 2024 and q2 of 2025 my guess would be it will be in q2 of 2025 because intel tends to delay things so yeah that is quite interesting that these two gpus does exist in si software in the open sealed benchmark and it's just there you know just there so quite interesting we'll see about battle maze in the near future and next up we have some pc deals here nice let's look into it basically the zotac g4s rtx 4068 gigs got some very good price cut and i mean very good minus 15 or basically 15 percent is a very good price cut here as you can see 279 we're looking at here previously was 329 so right now this makes the most efficient i guess uh bang for the buck gpu you can find here right maybe i'm not sure because you know under 300 we're looking at a card right over here which is the rtx 4060 though rtx 4060 is very underwhelming because you know rtx 4060 and 3060 literally has no difference in terms of performance maybe ray tracing is better and also dlss 3.0 support and other features so maybe if you consider those things this is a good deal you can find the link in the description the affiliate link for amazon and yeah if you're interested do check it out it looks a good deal okay so lastly we have something interesting here hxl has reported this but he's basically reporting the other thing which is the ryzen 7 8700f and the ryzen 5 8400f has been a showcase here as you can see right over here it says the ryzen 7 8700f and the ryzen 5 8400f the two new am5 platform cpus but we're not talking about am5 here we don't want that up i mean we do but look right over here we have the ryzen 5000 xt processors exactly so xt is a thing and amd just confirmed it basically we do get to see the ryzen 5600 gt series but again gt series for the lower tier 35 watts processor i'm guessing that is 35 watts i could be wrong but we're looking at the ryzen 5000 xt it doesn't really tell you what other processors will be in this lineup which is the 5000 xt series but definitely if it's a 5000 series of cpu and definitely it's going to be based on am4 platform and xt meaning that it's going to be a refresh of the 5000 series so refresh 5000 xt a bit boosted clocks i guess the zen 3 processors will be interesting to see that now the question would be are they bringing in all the lineups probably that is the case the ryzen 950 xt i'm guessing that would be the naming but the question is will they bring in the xt x3d <laughs> I, I am not sure about that because xt x3d sounds wild to me absolutely wild this says that's way too many x's right because yeah ryzen 5000 xt might include the ryzen 950 xt and the ryzen 7 7800 xt that is probably is the case and also the 5600 xt that is also another possibility the problem is will it be faster than the x3d processors that is also a good question that the ryzen 5 5600 5600 x3d which didn't really see that much of a availability but then again 7800 5800 x3d did exist so that is a good thing now the question is does the xt series comes with better specs than the x3d processors or in between the non xt and x3d that would be a good question to ask because you know we don't know the performance or anything it's just the naming uh that's the ryzen 5000 xt so the performance is a very much questionable because you know if it's not better than the x3d processors then i don't think it's really has a you know room for improvement because you know going from non xt to xt I, I want i wonder how much improvement you can find there so we'll see about that that's an interesting thing that and also confirms that am4 is not dead yet and that could be the last uh iteration for am4 processors that probably it because you know we don't see any other way to implement more you know processor lineup i don't really see it there was a question that xt might not be coming but i guess there there it is xt is coming for the 5000 series question is is it gonna be better or worse than x3d